We hope you enjoy this clip. Before you watch it, please hit that subscribe button. For you, I think that probably And that wasn't our expanded. first time doing that as well. It I wasn't. Was like, nah. <laughs> Everybody did that on the Bulls. That was what the Bulls, that was the culture. That was, was the culture then? <laughs> yeah, that was the culture. <laughs> yeah, everybody got into a little scuffle. <laughs> Turk, by the way, he do Turk allude, was on the Players Tribune, the uh, Knuckleheads podcast with Q Rich, who and Q and I played together as well. And Turk told this story. Um, it came out today. This is a guy he used to. If if I was playing too hard in practice, he would tell me to stop. Stop. I'm a young player. I'm not yeah. getting any minutes. Practices, and this is when we practice. 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 You know, we're wearing knee pads and an an tanked ankles, and like practice is my time to shine. And so <laughs> the first time he gave me a warning. First time he said, "Stop, stop playing so hard. Stop fouling me. You know, whatever." He's like, "I'm gonna fuck you up." <laughs> Sound like a good vet. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> I didn't respond. And then the next time he caught the ball, he literally caught it, made sure I was guarding him, and he elbowed me in the side of the head. The side of the head. Yeah. So like two, like. Probably two months later, now it's like a thing that I'm going at his ass in practice and yeah. we're like, whatever. Now, like two months later, I get a fast break and he undercuts me. I'm his own teammate. Yeah. On purpose. And I don't get, I don't, luckily I didn't get hurt. Brian Hill throws him out of practice. Then the next year, same thing happened. This time we're at shoot around. We had live shoot arounds. I was going hard, whatever. This time, no warning. Elbowed me again. So I, I get a black eye. So I go to lunch with my parents. I got a black eye. Like that was, I think that I mean I got yeah. scraps. I never I never punched anybody, but yeah. like Carlos and Roy, uh, I, I got into it one time. Brian, I think that was more common, and it common. never leaked back then. Yeah. Like now, somebody gets into something, but obviously, if a player gets hurt and hospitalized, like yeah, it's gonna leak. That's absolutely. Gonna leak. And then um, you know, the social media had just started to take off big then too. Like when I first got into the league, uh, you know, even when I got drafted, I, I said like. Fuck D Rose or something like old on my Twitter, and when I got drafted, <laughs> it just went went like went viral because I was I was a big time like Miami Heat fan, and I love the Heat, I love the Heatles. Shout out LeBron them by the way too. Like those were one of my favorite teams as a kid, and I just didn't like the Bulls because that was like their competitors, you know. And then I got drafted by the Bulls, and I have all these old tweets about Pau Gasol and D Rose, and now these guys are my teammates. <laughs> like it was, cra- you know what I'm saying? Like it was crazy, like like crazy as hell. Like so, like the social media part definitely um, took off at that time. And- we hope you had fun with us today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button.